Hey everybody, as you can see, it is a wonderful snowy day here in Utah. Um, and at, because of circumstances beyond my control, I am having to, I'm basically forced into making Otto here my daily driver. Um, for the past two years, he's been a daily driver during the, basically from mid spring all the way through when w so winter starts you know whenever the surf snow started happening um so i'm already used to used to him doing that but my wife was was in an accident and they totaled her her car um for, for, so to backtrack during the winter time i would be i would be driving my camry during during the winter months and that was a good car to, to take because it's you know reliable and gets good gas mileage and is pretty safe um good, good in the snow but uh, because they told out her Camry, we decided to use that money instead of buying another car. We decided to pay down some debts, um, fix what, what else we needed to fix with the Camry so that it's, it's up and running better. Um, it essentially needed new tires and, and alignment, but, we, but they told us originally that it needed a new ball joint, but that's not the case. And, um, but, uh, so we're gonna use that to that. Um, then we're gonna fix up um, do what I can do in order to make um, Otto here a daily driver, which includes quite a list of things, but then also the rest of the money can go to, toward um, finishing up Kuiper for Claire so we can have her have a car for her 16th birthday. That being said, here's what I have to do to get this car up and running to be a daily driver. The first thing, of course, you notice is going to be the top. Um, I need to do a transmission flush. I need to replace my shocks and struts. That little jaunt up and down Butterfield Canyon kind of kind of uh, was a, a big um, <laughs> big test for them, and I realized I, I need to replace them. I'm also going to have to um, in the engine compartment. Um, I have an older air cleaner; it's an oil bath air cleaner, but I have a newer oil filler. The problem is the oil relief tube that goes from the oil filler into the air cleaner is there it's the wrong size for one connection is really small one connection is pretty big so i had to get a replacement oil filler part and i had the right tube i just need to actually um, install that um, i also have to uh, um, there is a, a, a kind of an apparatus that fits it, it's 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 fits with the tin it, it connects to the tin um, of, and it puts a kind of open mouth over um, where it would draw in air from the, the first and second uh, cylinder up through this hose that goes up into the air cleaner. Um, that's supposed to heat air so that the, the air cleaner can, can supply warm air to the carburetor and makes it more efficient and, and run better. Um, I have to install that as well. I also have to uh, trace through my, my um, um, where the, the fresh air comes out of the fan shroud down into the, you know, past the muffler into the heat, right, the heat exchangers that goes out into, into the cabin of the car. I need to trace all of uh, both sides of that and see if there are any gaps or, or holes in there that, that could potentially draw in um, outside air because that's what they're doing right now. I'm getting some exhaust smell in my car whenever I have the heater on. And the heater does work really well, which is which is a plus. Um, the other thing also I'm going to do is I, I last year, or next one, so like two, it was two years ago, I bought a little motor, a little pump um, to electrify my windshield washer fluid system so that it it didn't requ require air from the, the uh, spare tire. Yep, so that's basically it. That's what I got to do to, to get this car to be a daily driver. And I will be documenting that and um, and share with you all of my adventures doing that. So, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, replying. Thanks for uh, your encouragement. Um, and have a wonderful day.